Thanks for joining us, everyone. I'm Ryan Cummings. And I'm Annie Satowski. First at 10, Brianna Taylor's family celebrating tonight after news that one officer involved in her death has been fired from the police force in Louisville. Our Angela McCall is live in the newsroom with why they say they're going to keep fighting until the other officers are terminated and charged. Angeline. Well, Ryan and Annie, 26-year-old Brianna Taylor, originally from Grand Rapids, was killed by Louisville police in March during a no-knock warrant in the middle of the night as well. She was shot t eight times and neighbors contend and police never identified themselves. Family Today says this is the first step towards justice in her case. We've been patient. It's been three months going on four months. We got one officer fired. Tawana Gordon says this justice for her cousin, Brianna Taylor, is long overdue, but worth the difficult wait. At first I was like, do I cry? Do I smile? Do I laugh? Do I jump around? I cried because it's been a long fight, months. Officer Brett Hankinson's termination is the first step of many Brianna's family wants to see. They're now pushing for the firing of other officers involved, along with criminal charges. Because of their negligence and their inability to be more ready for what they were executing and prepared, she's gone. So at least second degree murder and at least being fired, no pensions released. You need to lose all of that. As they wait, they're pushing for change in Michigan and nationwide for lawmakers to pass Brianna's law, banning no knock warrants. And we don't want someone else to lose a loved one the way we lost her. It is unfair. It is some a pain that you never get rid of. Well, this is an important step and doesn't undo the tragedy her cousin faced. I just miss her face. Not being sad, I missed her always being optimistic. Now Tawana is the one being optimistic, with the first step signaling their message is working, even if change is slow. I want to say thank you to Louisville's current police chief for making that decision to fire that officer. And I'm pleading with you to do the same for the other two officers. And to the attorney general of Louisville, I need you to start with those charges. Our family is not going to stop. We are not going to go away. Brianna's case is still under investigation by the FBI and the Kentucky Attorney General. The two other officers remain on administrative leave at the moment. Live in the newsroom, Angela McCall, Fox 17 News.